Greetings, greetings on this 4th of July weekend. It's July 2nd, Sunday, and I have a featured quad that I want to bring to you. It's a Chris Rosser frame, 5.5, and it's got the O3 air unit. Seems like a normal looking quad, nothing really unique about it. It's got motors, it's got a 5.2 uh, uh, inch props, and it's got the O3 camera, soft mounted. Um, this battery might give it away. This is an 8S build with the 8S motors, 27, uh, 50 motors by 1500 uh, KB. And we're gonna fly it today. Uh, we're gonna give it a good test and I'm gonna show you the flight footage out of here as well. We're out here at Newport News Park, beautiful day. It's in the morning here. And uh, my first test flight has actually I've been quite amazed with it. I will share my reactions with you as we are flying. So, all right, first of all, we have the 8S batteries here. It's a 1300 milliamp battery. It has eight cells. It, produce, it is charged to 35 volts. And both of these are, and these are relatively easy to get a hold of now. Uh, it's 120 C to 40 C, 30 volts, 4.5 volts. Um, and they are JVN batteries. I'll put a link to them in the description. Here is the stack that I'm using. Um, I will put all of its all of its specs in the description below as well. This does not require a separate regulator. This is an 8S ESC and it is also a 8S flight controller. So just hook it up like normal. The only difference is it's 8S. However, no special additional voltage regulators are required. And like I say, I will put all the parts in the description below. I'm using Crossfire. Uh, here's my T16S controller. I'm gonna plug this in. We are armed, it is 33.6 volts here. Wow, this is already almost at the end of the field. That was just like third throttle there. My God. This feels like a lot more power than any 6S I've ever. This is crazy, look at that. This is insane, and it continues to go up. Wow, 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 wow. I have literally never felt anything like this before. This is crazy. Look how quick it moves. And I, in the viewfinder where you're looking, where you're looking at this now, it's not like it's even, I feel it's moving a lot quicker, but the thing is, is that uh, I'm doing it at such, I mean, this is just ridiculously low throttle. There's, This is amazing. We're running two minutes now. This is crazy. This is all uh, default tunes. The rates I've slowed down slightly, but all this is default, default uh, PIDs. The filters are default. The tune is default as a 4.4 beta flight. This is amazing. We're two minutes and 30 seconds on the 1300 milliamp battery. 
Golly. This is absolutely amazing. It is smooth. It is really got a lot of pep to it. And I'm just cruising here like quarter throttle, a third at most. And it is just moving right along. This is absolutely phenomenal. I'm just cruising now just to, you could have a fast, all powerful build, but I'm just testing its, uh, its uh, ability to control at lower throttles as well. This is amazing. I mean, yeah, sure, I do this with any 6S quad, but not at these low throttles. This is absolutely incredible. We're on three minutes. Approaching four minutes, we're at 31 volts. We're gonna come in at 30, we're at 3.8 uh, per cell. The reason why I'm uh, reading out these figures for you is because I'm not used to 8S. Here we are at 30.5. We're gonna come in, we have 3.8s per cell. Uh, four minutes and 18 seconds so far. This is really, really cool. Very, very controllable. This is really nice. Okay, my uh, initial thoughts for this ADES build. Um, a little history in the background first of all. Uh, I heard about this at JB's, on JB's uh, channel when he uh, flew uh, rotor rides. Well, for me, yeah, you can adapt a motor to run on success. You, you made it fly, but what I, what I wanted to do was to wait for the actual motors to come out that are built for ADES. Um, and I wasn't too much of a rush for it. So I bought, got, went ahead and got the frame and I got the stack uh, and did my research and got my batteries and everything and just waited for the motors to come available. And these are from T-Motor. Now, unfortunately, the exact motors that I'm using is, are not available yet. However, they were sent to me by a friend, shout out to him, for sending me these prototype motors from, from T-Motor. They really, really work very well. I mean, it is just crazy the amount of power this thing has. And uh, what I've heard from JB is that even a heavier quad like this, it just has absolutely no issues whatsoever. It just feels like a racing quad. This is not a heavy quad, just Chris Washer frame, and all the weights will be down in the, in the, specific, in the description, the specifications down there as well. Uh, the weight and overall and everything. This is a fairly light quad, uh, and it's good for uh, freestyle. Mostly I'm using for uh, chasing, chasing cars. So I can't wait to test that out. But I'm very impressed with, with the uh, performance of these motors. This is absolutely, absolutely, mind-blowing uh i flew 4s uh when i first i mean when I, during that time and then it switched to 6s and i was like i never went back to 4s so what are the advantage of 8s uh well as more people fly it we'll find out but right now uh i'm suitably impressed we may be moving up to 8s as an fbb community now there's a downside the components are expensive but again like anything uh, with them being expensive, making them more as the need rises, the price will eventually come down. But right as of the making of this video, this fly stack and the ADS batteries um, are expensive. But I have a job. That's my anticipation for this ADS build. So it's not just a novelty. Hey, it was really great. But I actually intend to put it to use. That's my aim. So, uh, if you have any experiences with the ADS build, uh, there are those who these motors were sent to, um, who have made, who have uh, had them to be prototyped. But this is my review on this, and my synopsis is: I would love for these motors to come available to everybody.